Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do a video on the Lurge um, 3D printer controller. Uh, unfortunately I can't get the controller's UI and the actual motion in the background in the same picture so I thought we'd rather be looking at this than the usual printer head moving around. Now I guess this is relatively unknown control of the Lurge but I thought we'd talk about it. Now I originally bought a Flying Bear Tornado and it had the, uh, what have we got there, MKS Gen 1 with the version 3 of the TFT screen, uh, which looks like this, and we're all fairly familiar. Which looks like this. And I paid extra money to get the LCD screen, but unfortunately it annoyed me no end and I decided to replace it. Why did it annoy me? It annoyed me because you actually couldn't use the printer stand alone. You had to have a laptop connected to it uh, because there are not all the settings in there. And what I mean by that is that there is no things like acceleration uh, settings or more importantly there are no uh, Z height offset and that meant that to, to change that you had to have a laptop connected to it and that unfortunately I could not handle because I'm out in a steel garage in the middle of nowhere I don't have the internet here uh, and I really didn't want to have to buy a laptop to print as well because that of course significantly increases the price uh, and it just annoyed me that you had to have a laptop connected to, to make all of the changes. So I had a, had a look around about what I could replace it with. Uh, and there are a number of options. I ended up with the Lurge. The Lurge is a 32-bit version uh, processor. And it is, it, it can, it, you can get a Wi-Fi module for it. You can get it all the usual toys, um, dual extrusion, filament runout, um, it has micro US uh, memory card thingy bob SD uh, USB but the main thing that really attracted to me it is it, it had an LCD screen and I wanted an LCD screen but I wanted a controller that was completely self-contained did not require a computer at all and also did not require any kind of configuration so no stuffing around with text files um, Arduino uploading stuff. If you want to update the firmware of this, you just chuck it on the USB, uh, not USB, the SD card, plug it in, restart it, bam, you're done. And like I said, there's no programming from Arduino and there's also no configuration files. Well, that's not quite true. You can actually do it from a um, configuration file if you want to. But really, the idea behind that is that is for people that, uh, well, really, not people. Um, companies that want to be able to quickly set up a thousand lurges exactly the same. However, it's not required and I've never used it because you can just use the UI. And that to me seems like a revolution that you no longer have to stuff around, you don't need to know anything, you plug it in and then you can just enable everything as you go along. and it just works and it just working is actually quite unusual you plug the stuff in it works no doubt if you plug some things in wrong you're going to have problems and you should check out the Facebook page if you uh, have problems so I'm just doing a Z level Hopefully, yep. We can then move it round. Uh, what do I want to do? See how far. You can even enable the probe on the BL Touch, make it go up and down. And we obviously have extruders as well. 
So it's really, really intuitive. Got fan controls. Oh, you've got lighting, but I don't have the lighting module. Oh. You can um, do filament change, which frankly all control uh, printers should be able to do. It's just so painful not having a uh, filament runout sensor because, of course, you end up with all these rolls of mostly used um, filament. But you can never go quite near the end because you're never quite sure if you can have enough or not. We can do leveling. Now there's a couple of ways we can do leveling and this actually takes a while. Um, you can get it to just sit in the middle and you can move it round. And you can put your piece of paper in. Or you can do auto leveling, which I won't do right now because this it takes forever because I've enabled a thousand, well not literally a thousand, a lot of points. But that's really cool. It'll go around and then move around the board and it will tell you how high it is relative to the original point. So you, it'll, you can tell if you need to manually level or lower your bed, which is really, really useful. I normally just on the fly do it, I'm just adjusting the points and of course you can keep doing it. Now you've got the usual things like motors, acceleration, speed, step value, direction, uh, accelerations, and you've got more, more pages there. It's all there, you clickety-click um, and it can't be simpler. Now for more advanced things you can uh, do deltas, core XY and whatnot. This is a core XY, it's a HBOT actually. Then go in there, set your X and Y maximums and under advanced settings you can do your origin settings, your end stops. auto leveling settings which is quite useful okay this is the number of points I made that way too big for a previous video uh, more second hot end settings replacement material settings I haven't actually put the uh, that module on yet though I have actually got it, well, the module, I mean the uh, the actual filament sensor. And you can print from here. And it actually has a knob as well that you can use. You can use your finger or the little pen that comes with the pen. I actually basically never use the pen except for this video. You can go through and select using the wheel knob. If I press the button down, it would select it. So there's not much to say about it, other than I think it's really, really good. And probably will end up replacing a huge number of controllers out there. Unless they get their act together, the Marlin and the Rip Rat. There's always going to be people that want to, to play in code. But for 99% of the people... It's just too much effort. Why would you want to? So they need to expose a lot more to the to the UI and get it nice looking. This is smoking hot looking in my opinion. I really like it. Actually, I think there is color settings somewhere. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Where are those settings? Yeah, that's the homing. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know how that comes out very well on the on the screen. It's looking really dull. 
but the screen looks really nice in real life. So you can get this from obviously Amazon and AliExpress. I think uh, AliExpress is pretty much the official store for it. If you go to the Lurge website, it will send you to um, to AliExpress. I'll link that, but you can also get them on Amazon. How's support been? Uh, that's always the question. I've actually found the support to be relatively good. Like all of these things the first place to go in my opinion is always facebook there is a facebook group which i will link in the discussion in the description i mean uh, i did find a problem with the the lurge system but that was some time ago and they made a patch relatively quickly to fix it so i'm fairly happy with it how, how more happy can you be if something does you've got found a bug you've reported the bug and they fixed it uh, so I would highly recommend this and I would put this on other printers. I would definitely be replacing it on um, chucking away the old 16-bit systems and I would upgrade to this. Because it's actually quite cheap this as well. It's not expensive at all. Alright guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.